Hello, my name is Brian Patrick. I am an IronSpeed MVP, and in this short video, we're going to discuss modifying your style sheet to globally affect the appearance of your application. Now, a style sheet is simply a text file that contains uh, attributes associated, grouped together into styles that can be applied to multiple elements in your application. For instance, uh, the font and the text color, the alignment, the indentation, those are all defined as can be defined as a style and applied to each of the elements in your application by just giving, assigning the name of the style to that element. Okay. If you notice in your application there are actually two different style sheets being used. One called base styles and one called styles. Now when you create your application all of your attributes are used in the base styles file. You don't want to modify that file because it will be overridden the next time you upgrade your IronSpeed designer program. What you want to do is you want to copy this, the uh, style that you want to modify to the styles file and modify it there. Now if we look at the base styles file for this particular application you can see there are literally dozens of different styles. So the question is how do we determine which style that we want to modify? I'm going to show you a neat little trick for doing that. Instead of trying to, to go through this and read through each description for what's being modified, I'm going to use a program called Stylizer which will let me uh, drill down on my application in a browser and tell me which styles are being applied. So if we take our application and we run it, okay, and we copy the URL from the application, we can simply copy this URL, put it in Stylizer, we can use Stylizer to tell us which styles are being applied. First of all, we're going to review the warnings for this particular CSS file. So, for instance, let's say we want to take our menu here and we want to move it down. What we can do in Stylizer is simply hit the spacebar and as we hover over each element, you'll see below, you can see which uh, styles are being applied. For instance, if I come over here and I click on this particular menu region, you can see that the style being applied is PCL. And we notice that it has the background color, the color, the padding at the top, and the vertical align. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this padding top, and we're going to move the whole menu down by by a couple hundred pixels, by hundred pixels. Okay. So we want to modify base styles.css. We want to modifi modify the PCL style. Let's go back to Iron Speed, our base styles, and what we're going to do is we're going to search through here for the PCL style. Okay. So there's the style for PCL, the page containing left middle edge. What we do is we copy that whole style. We don't want to cut it, we just want to copy it. Go to our styles file and paste it there. And you notice over here it says padding top 10 pixels. Let's go ahead and just make that 110 pixels. Okay. Save our style sheet. Now if we go back to our browser, we can simply refresh this page and notice that it went down by 100 pixels. We didn't need to rebuild the application because remember the style sheet is simply a text file. It's not part of the ASPX or any part of the, the uh, code file. It's simply a text file that the browser reads when it loads this page and applies the styles to the elements. Let's go ahead and modify another style. Let's go ahead and modify this title right here. We notice that there's applications, education, employment. Let's modify this and you notice we'll change, it, we'll change one style and we'll modify it throughout the whole application. Okay, let's go back to Stylizer. I'm going to go ahead and drill down. You notice as I hover over, I, I can see which elements are being applied. Let's go ahead and select this applications. And you notice that the style being applied is called, called Dialog Hutter Text or .dht. Let's go back to Iron Speed. Go back to the top of our file. And let's search for DHT. Okay. Notice it says dialog header text. That sounds like a good candidate. Let's go ahead and copy that to our styles file, just like we did the other one. Notice that we copy dialog header text. And let's go ahead and make it pretty large. We're going to make it 30px, and we'll change it from normal to bold. Let's save that. And now, you notice this when we go back to our application, let's refresh the page. You notice that our title now has gone from that 16 to the 30px and it's now bold fill. And on every page where that style is used, it's all showing the same style. 
We didn't have to go to each page and modify the style for every title. All we had to do was modify the one place by copying the style sheet over to our styles.css file and modifying it there. That concludes this video on how to modify your style sheet. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the forum. Thank you.